Hey guys, welcome to this week's live feed. Uh, we are live on Facebook and now we are live on Instagram. So it's great to be live again this week. I love the live sessions. Um, it's awesome to communicate with you guys and to talk a bit about things in terms of business and how to become a millionaire at 22 or any age that you want to be <laughs> for the older viewers. Um, hi Salandri, thanks for joining in. So today we are talking a bit about, okay, first off, if you have any questions, send them in. Um, guys, remember you can also send the question throughout the week and then we will answer them on our Tuesday live session. We are live every Tuesday at 3. So if you send your questions in throughout the week, we will answer them Tuesday at 3. Hi Derek, thanks for joining in. Um, so yeah, guys, send your questions in if you have any. Uh, just to give some feedback, um, we are still distributing books to bookstores across the country. So if you want the How to Become a Millionaire 22 book, you can go to any of your local bookstores, exclusive books, bargain books, scoops, CNA, PNA, and ask them for the How to Become a Millionaire at 22. Okay, guys. So, um, and also just to catch up, we had our How to Start event about two weeks back. It was a great success. We had a lot of success, a lot of interest, and we had a great event and um, a lot of great feedback. So we will be having another event similar to that one, um, possibly early next year. So it's gonna be great. Okay guys, so today we are talking about your look and feel. Okay, the first thing that is so important in business is to get your look and feel correct, okay? You need to have a great first impression. So if you're starting out a business, if you're just launching your business, make sure you invest some effort and capital in your look and feel because that's what's going to determine if you get the sale or not. Okay, if you think of your Christmas tree on in December, what makes you the most excited? Is it the the presents that's packaged in the nice shiny and colorful packaging, or is it the presents that's um, kept in a brown paper bag? Okay, it all matters um, how it looks. That's what matters the most, and it's similar to when you start your business. You have to have a great looking website. You have to have a great looking logo. You have to have a great look and feel because the client's going to see that and that first impression, that first five minutes or three minutes that they see your business, your product is going to determine if they believe that you're trustworthy, if they believe that you can do the job, if they believe that your product is valuable. So you need to prove that you have value. You need to prove that you can provide value. And that is by getting your look and feel correct. By looking great. And similar um, in person. You need to dress nicely. You need to look um, as if you can deliver. Um, and most probably you should be able to deliver. Um, so you need to make sure that you get those things right first. Um, get your look and feel right, look good when you go to meetings, stand up straight, um, give a nice firm handshake and provide that trust and provide that um, backing to your product. Because you could have the best product in the world, but if you don't look trustworthy, if you don't look like you can deliver that value or service, then it doesn't help at all. So you need to get that right. Um, a nice example is, uh, would you get heart surgery from a guy in sweatpants, a Hawaiian shirt, and long hair? Um, or the other side of the coin, would you take surfing lessons from a guy in a tight suit with a tie and corporate shoes? Most probably not. But if you switch the roles around, I'm sure you would believe that the guy in the nice suit will provide adequate heart surgery and the guy in the, in the Hawaiian shirt and sweatpants would provide adequate surfing lessons. 
So just think about that when you dress. Just think about that when you create your logo for your company, when you, cre when you create your design for your company, and make sure that you look good and that you can impress and that you can create value for your clients. Um, guys, we lost the Instagram feed. So um, I'm going to do another Instagram live session now. Normally, there's a lot of people on Instagram that ask questions, so it's more interactive that way. Um, so yeah guys tune in next week again I think that's all about you know getting yourself to look good getting your product to look good and it definitely makes a difference so if you're struggling a bit with sales if you're struggling to start up your company focus on that branding look and feel and how you dress and carry yourself um, if you have a grand uh, or friend or an uncle or someone that can do some graphic design and that can help you out or approach a local company. I also have a company, Gazaru. We can also help you out to get that branding look and feel correct because that's so, so important. Cool, guys. Thank you for joining in this week. Um, catch us again next week, Tuesday at 3. Um, hopefully, next week we have the Instagram running as well. Then we can answer some of your questions um, and we can have a discussion. Uh, so if you have any questions, send them through throughout the week. Um, then we answer them on the live feed um, or tune in on the live feed on Facebook or Instagram and then we can answer the questions that you have. Cool guys, keep a lookout for our Facebook, Instagram and website www.millionaire22 to see what's happening and if we have some local events in your area where you can join and um, then we'll see you there. Cool.